Hi and welcome, I'm Machine Dana, I hope you're doing really well. This is a video about how you can call your chat in Twitch. The short answer here is that there are two versions of it and I'll show the two versions of it, but it really depends on whether you're coming from the angle of being a streamer or if you're simply a viewer. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up, feel free to subscribe and you can check me out daily at twitch.tv forward slash Machine Dana. I stream six o'clock at UK times. Let's get into it. There are really two answers to this question. Answer number one, if you're a viewer and honestly, you only need to watch the rest, the remaining 30, 40 seconds of this video, you can simply type forward slash me and your lovely text into the text box, as you can see in the bottom here. Um, and whenever you type forward slash me, it will color the text the same as your name. And it is as simple as that. Okay, your lovely text. And you can change the color of your name by simply going into the chat settings. Uh, make sure you're on the uh, the chat settings view here and look at your identity. You can click this to edit and you can change the color here. You can also choose whether or not you want to show badges and things like that. Um, if you're not happy with any of these colors here, you can click on more colors. And then you can go into more specific chat settings, including hexes. I'll just move the camera out of the way. And then you can go into more chat settings, specific color settings and other kind of stuff like that. And it shows you an example of it in dark mode and light mode. So if you're a viewer, that's pretty much all you need to know. However, if you're a streamer, you may want your bot commands and your timers and various other things the same color as the color of your bot. So this is where the answer gets a little bit longer. It shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. I'm using Streamlabs, so I'll show you how to do this in Streamlabs, but you will be able to do this in Stream Elements um, and other bot providers as well. So really the main aim here is that you can distinguish between what is bot chat and what is not bot chat so obviously you want to be responding broadly to your viewers responses uh, your viewer questions and your viewers chat um, whenever they are chatting but you don't really need to be responding and trying to figure out what is a bot uh, chat and what, what isn't bot chat and that might seem obvious if you're a very very quick reader uh, being able to read quickly it might come straight forward to you it might not be an issue but if you're having to read bot text just to figure out that it is bot text to move on to the next message and the me next message that can take time and it can also detract away uh, and deflect away from your chat uh, and responding to your viewers so having your bot and timers and uh, commands also respond in a color helps you to immediately distinguish what is bot commands and what is not and that just helps you manage chat a little bit better. I have done a longer video on managing chat. So please do feel free to check that out. If you're a streamer and you want to manage your chat better, there's a load of tips on how you can manage your chat better. I will link it in the, the description below. And the short answer here, if you're a streamer, and, I, and I'll show an example of what this looks like on one of my past broadcasts. So here's a past broadcast of mine. And as you can see, I've got bot commands here that are coming through as purple as my bot and I've named the bot. I'll also show you how I can name the bot. And I've got viewers that are doing chat in their own color. Uh, most of the time it's white. Uh, some chatters now and then will do it with the forward slash me command as I've just shown. As you can see, it's now really easy for me as the streamer to hone in on the chat that is white and my viewers chat as opposed to my bot chats. And it also is a nicer experience for the viewers because they can learn to broadly ignore the bot chat unless it's a, a bot command that they've requested if that makes sense some viewers may choose still to read it but at least they've got the time uh, and they're not sort of focusing on the broadcast for that so that's what it looks like uh, or of course the color that you choose if you want to name your bot in streamlabs online the way you do that is on the name function here so you log into streamlabs using your twitch credentials or your youtube gaming credentials that will allow you to log in if you call on CloudBot here and on the name function, first you need to make sure that CloudBot is actually enabled and you need to forward slash mod Streamlabs in your chat. So type forward slash mod and then space and then Streamlabs. Once you've done that, you can basically add a name here, which is your bot. Now, the thing to bear in mind here, it will initially ask you to log in. If you're already logged into your Twitch here, You've got to take into consideration that if you've used your Twitch credentials to log into Streamlabs, you then need to log out of Twitch and then log into this name bot here. I'll just show what that looks like by removing. So by default, Streamlabs is the name of the bot and the color is a similar color to this. So the text color will also be a color the same as that. So by default, your cloud bot 
uh, when it's turned on and modded will respond in this color and it will be that's the name of the user. So if you want to name it, you can either create a separate bot account. You may already have a separate bot account that you, you want to simply link. So to do that, you select this option here. It'll take you here. Now, because I'm logged in as Machine Dana, uh, which is my, my streamer account, I need to log out of that. Rather than authorizing Machine Dana to be the bot, it's not advisable to have your main account as your bot account. I'm just going to say it's not me and log out and type my girth machine which is the name of my bot account two factor authentication on you'll be asked to provide a key for that of course then you authorize your new account um your bot account with streamlabs and this should now update just like that so it's now logged me into my twitch what i can now do on my bot account if i'm a streamer is go into chat go into chat settings go into the identity settings and change the color of my bot account here or by going on to more colors choose uh, a more specific hex color. But that's now linked to my bot account and I've been able to update the color of my bot account. There is some final things that need to be done at this point. If you do decide to upgrade to Streamlabs Prime, please feel free to use my affiliate code below in the description. And that'll mean that you get money off when you upgrade. I think you save like 10 or $20 per year. So it's, it's quite a lot of money to save just by typing in a, a code just by using my affiliate link to upgrade. So that's a pretty good deal, right? So now the final thing, if you're a streamer, your bot is gonna respond commands and your bot is going to respond timers. The timers are obviously things that happen when you turn them on here and you edit them. These things happen if the line minimums are hit on chat and also the interval minimums, are, so that this is in minutes, has been hit. All you have to do is simply edit your timers to have forward slash me at the start of it. You need to do that for every single timer and that will work. So all the timers now when they arrive will turn up with colored text from your bot. I have done a more specific video about timers. Please feel free to search through my videos and see the timers video. It's quite a good one. Secondly, your commands. If you're anything like me, you've probably got quite a lot of commands. I've got something like uh, six pages of commands. There's lots of different things uh, over, over time that have been added. Uh, I probably should clean these out a little bit. Uh, you've got custom default variables and then settings here. And again, this was within CloudBot and commands. You can search for specific commands that you want to be colored if you want to. Or you can simply go into every single command and add forward slash me to the start of that command. And that in itself will color the text of the command responses when people use these commands. You do it on the customs, then you've got to do it on the defaults as well, where applicable. So if I go into here, You'll see I've added forward slash me, forward slash me there, and every single one forward slash me. And it just means that even the default commands that already exist, all of them, <laughs> this may take half an hour to do, but it's worthwhile doing. And then settings, there's also some cooldowns, some cost messages, some permission settings. I've also put a forward slash me on them. So every single piece of bot communication that comes from my linked bot account will now be colored text, and it'll allow you as a streamer to only view bot text in the colors, so it helps you distinguish viewer text from bot text. So there you have it. Hopefully you found this really useful. Hopefully this helps you improve your chat, uh, helps you manage your chat better, helps you distinguish it better. Again, if you've enjoyed this, please do thumbs it up. It helps me, it helps the visibility of the video, and I really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe if you want more videos like this. I've got loads and loads of Streamlabs videos uh, and streaming videos in general. Uh, and finally, have a great day. Take care.